Hey everybody, welcome back. This is Essia Essie Mod, and today's video is going to be a pretty fun one. It's going to be the end of month wrap up for June. I'm also going to be doing some cash condensing and some placeholdering and taking some stuff back to the bank. So let's get started. <music> So um, as you can see here, I was trying to think of what would be the easiest way to kind of do the end of month roundup and I do everything in Excel on my iPad and it just kind of helps with quickly calculating different amounts and I can do the, some of the different um, formulas in here. So today it's kind of throwing off the color of this video, I think, but um, we'll try this and we'll see how it goes. So here on the iPad, um, I hope you guys can see it, but Basically, I've recorded here like each week. So week one, we stuffed $1,452. And then in the unstuffing videos, I took out $834 because that's what I spent for that week. And at the end, after week one, I had a plus minus of $618 plus. So that means I stuffed more than I spent. Second week, you can see the numbers um, are higher because that's, um, I had the automatic transfers for my investments. So that one shows a higher plus minus and just higher numbers overall. I also did have more spending, so I'm not sure why that was in that particular week, but um, probably it's just how sometimes, you know, groceries or gas falls. Week three um, came down a little bit and then week four was another uh, automatic transfer for investments. So as you can see overall, did really well with saving more than I spent. Um, so I kind of was surprised by this number at the end. So overall I stuffed $8,010. And remember again, of that amount that I stuffed in the, the videos, I counted what? 2,000 plus 600 plus 150. So $2,750 were all towards investments. Um, I spent $3,696 and then the overall um, gain was $4,314 um, at the end of the month. Moving to my specifically in my investments. So I'm going to come back to this when I do the cash condensing and placeholdering because I took what I started with. The contributions are basically what was stuffed in the envelopes, and I did round up for a lot of these. So $1,888.70 is what was officially taken on my paycheck, but when I was stuffing the envelopes, I was just placeholdering $1,000 each time for a total of $2,000 in the month. Same thing for the HSA. I just did $300 just to keep it more simple with the placeholders. And for 529s, I normally do $150 a month, but because my son graduated from kindergarten, I gave we gave him an extra $100 for his HS or his 529 account. So then I checked out what my ending balances were, and I actually use a um, an app called Empower, and I will put um, details in the um, description but basically what you do if you're comfortable is you go and you enter all of your accounts into this one app um, and then it tracks for you day over day month over month where your accounts are it automatically logs into those accounts for you and it just tracks so that's how I generally look in day to day on what my net net value is net worth um, you can put in your mortgage and your it'll pull your uh, home value based I think on the Zillow listing um, so it's a really good way to kind of just track your overall finances from a really high level um, and just kind of see the progress you make, um, you know, throughout the year. Uh, and then at the end, the plus minus is because I had so much to start with, and these are investment accounts, which means with the stock market, it can go up, it can go down. Um, my plus minus at the end of the month was far higher than my contributions for some of these larger accounts. So for example, I had $10,000 in my taxable investments. I didn't do any contributions in the month of June, but I ended higher by about $500 because there were dividends and there were gains within um, those investments that I had. Same thing with 401k, you can really see that I contributed just under $2,000 and the overall um, net was a gain of $6,349. Uh, on the reverse side, you can see that with the 529s, 
is investing $250, which is not very much, on a, an account that totaled $3,160, there wasn't that much gain. There's a $7 gain. So um, basically what you're seeing here, and, and same thing with this HSA, there is about a uh, $350 gain. Um, and so the more you save, this is what they talk about with compound interest and compound compounding with investments is that the more money you get, the faster you grow. So I think at the beginning of this year, I was under $200,000, um, overall for all my investments. And then, um, at the end it's 214,000 and I just checked my account, um, as of today. So we're about midway through July at the time of this filming, and I was up already to 222000 So again, I think we've talked about the first 100000 is a bitch by Charlie Munger. And it means saving to this first 100000 takes a really long time, but it'll take exponentially shorter to go from 100000 to 200000 and then two hundred to three hundred, and so on. So um, I do have a track somewhere. Maybe I will share that if guys, if you guys are interested, but like, you know, it took me quite a few years to get to my first 100,000. It took shorter to get to my um, second 100,000, so 200,000. And then as you can see, if this is the end of June um, and by mid-July, it's already up about 8,000 more, um, I'm going to hit that 300,000 much faster. I'm thinking maybe two and a half years from when I hit 200,000. Um, so again, I really wanted this channel to not only be cash stuffing and budgeting, but also throw in some of the investment side. And I think that, you know, I find this stuff really interesting when I was first starting to learn things. And if this can help anybody else kind of um, see why you should start saving, whether it's in a 401k or other investment type account. Um, I know a lot of us really um, follow influencers or uh, financial uh, titans, I guess you'd say, where they talk about, you know, don't contribute to your 401k, just pay down your debt. And I would say pay down your high interest debt, but not necessarily your low interest debt because you're really missing out on the time factor and compounding what your savings could be. So again, Different things work for different people, but I just want to make sure that people understand, you know, kind of the flip side of if you take all of your money and all you're doing is paying down debt and it's any kind of debt, not just high interest, you know, it could be low interest debt other than your mortgage or your student loans or anything that you're you're paying off. Um, there is there is a cost to that um, because historically the stock market has uh, performed better than a lot of your low interest, right? So 10%, 12% historically over X amount of years. Again, if you're looking to retire within three years, you don't want to be that risky. But if you've got 20 years to invest, you you really should because time is, is such a huge factor. All right. Um, that was a really long-winded way of saying that I'm really, really happy with the gains that I had um, this month. So I only contributed under $3,000, but I gained $8,000. So we're talking about 5000 of my money working for me. All right. So that being said, let's get to the cash condensing and unstuffing, or I guess cash condensing and placeholdering. All right. I'm going to set this to the side for now until we get to the investment part. So actually, I'm going to take this out because I feel like it's going to mess up the screen, the video's color. Um, so we are going to start with savings challenges because I know that there is really high amounts in here. Some of these envelopes are really, really thick. So in here, we've got 100, 200, 300, 400, 455, 20, 40, 60, 80, 6, 20, 40, 60, 75. So 675. So right off the bat, I'm going to take out 500. 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. So I'll do that. And I will take a placeholder for hopefully 500. Oh, there we go. Put it in there and then let's see. 1, 2, 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, 20, 40, 60, 75. So I'll do 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And take this 100 back. Should I placeholder that? No. 
think I'll just keep this as the 500 and then I'll do it. Yeah, um, I will do it in 500 increments. So 675 for the anniversary trip. So we did end up postponing it from November to January because timing just wasn't working out for us. Um, and it gives me more time to save for it. So um, we'll be placeholdering some of this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 1,000, 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, 20, 40, 60, 80, 200. So 1,200 dollars. So we can definitely do 1,000. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And you know what? I think I'm gonna put these down here in the ones for right now. We get a 1,000. There we go. So 1,000 and then I'll do, this was 200 so I will put these here and I will take two 100s. So there we go, 1,200. All right, Christmas savings challenge. So this one is 1, 2, 3, 4, 4, 50, 70, 90, 5, 10, 20, 30, 35, 40. So I will do 100, so 500 placeholder. Sorry, 1, 2, 3, 4, 50, 70, 90, and 500. And then 20, 30, 40. And I guess, I guess I will do that. Like a 20. And that is all I can do. So 540 in the Christmas savings challenge. Kids birthday is 460. And oh my gosh, my youngest birthday is coming up. So I really have to think about what I'm going to do for him. One, two, three, 350. Uh, oh, everything is done. So it's 460. Um, I'm not going to placeholder this because one of the birthdays is coming, but I guess I will um, do, wait a second, don't know if the right amount is in here, 1, 2, 3, 50, 70, 90, 410, 430, 455, so are we missing a 5? We are missing a 5. Hmm. Interesting. Okay, so I will take one hundred and twenties, so that we have four fifty-five. Okay, and then I will add a five, probably for my personal, just so that we have it be um, even. One, two, three, three fifty, seventy, ninety. 410, 20, 25. Okay, so 25, so that should be 100. So now we have 425. Once we get 500, I will placeholder that. And I don't know if this one needs any condensing. Well, I guess a 50. And this one had a 100 randomly in there, and I'll just leave that. Okay, so that is the savings challenges, and that is much, 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 much better. That is so thin now. Um, all right, so that feels good. Next, let's go to sinking funds, and I don't know if I have a whole bunch in here, but... Um, because I haven't actually stuffed yet, but we'll see what we can do. So household has, let's see what we can do. We can do 50, so 20 and 10. We'll add this 50, and that's all we can do. Vehicle maintenance, let's see, 100. All right, so let's see. 
we can at least do that for a 10. And so then I'm sure we can do another 100. So 50, 70, 90, 100. That's all we can do for household. Or I'm sorry, vehicle maintenance. Which I think I might need a new battery in my car. So vehicle maintenance is going to have to get stuffed. 10, 20, 30, 40, 55. So 10. And one, two, three, four, five, fifty. Perfect. These are so satisfying. I love watching condensings. Gifts, uh, nope, nothing. Travel. So one hundred, and then one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five, and 10, 15, 20, wow, 25, okay, it's a lot of fives. Let's see, so one, two, three, four, they're also really nasty fives. So there's 20, and then I can do two more. I feel like I always need fives. So there we go. So we've got 300, 20, 30, 40, 45, 46. All right. Holidays. Um, I'm just going to leave it. We could do a 50, but then we're not really gaining anything by... It's the same amount of bills, I think. Um, Timeshare. I guess I could do another 100. All right, so that'll be 700. I already placeholdered that. It's sitting in the bank. And then health is a big one that I think, well, it has hundreds already. So here's 100, 50, 70, 90. And 100, so 50, 70, 90, 100. Okay, one, two, three, four. Let's see, we can do one more 50, so 10 and two 20s. And there we go, much better. So one, two, three, four, five, 50, 60, one, two, three, four. And I'm not gonna placeholder this right now because I feel like we do have some more potential health costs coming up um, in July, so I think I'm just going to leave this right now. All right, that is it for sinking funds, and that also feels much better. Wonderful. Um, I don't think I really have a whole lot in either of these personals, so I think maybe my personal does. And maybe legal, we'll try. So personal, let's see, 20, 40, 60, 70, two, three, four, five. Okay, so five. And then 20, 40, 50. For 75. Hair doesn't, fashion doesn't, beauty doesn't really. Um, let's see, professional dues. 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, 10, and 12. I think one of the viewers, one of you guys did reach out to me asking me about law school because you were interested in going. And I said to go ahead and contact me through my website and the contact form. That's where the email is. But I don't know if I ever saw your email come through. So if you did reach out to me and haven't gotten a response, I apologize. Please go ahead and send another email. And I promise um, I will respond. All right. Now we are with investing. So let's do the cash first and then we will do the placeholders. So I guess let's work backwards. Enrichment. 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. 
then 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. Okay, so we'll do a 20. Oh, wonderful, wonderful. I love it. Okay, athletics. Now this one I think we are going to placeholder. We'll see. 1, 2, 250, um, 253, 350, 70, 90, 4, 10, 30, 50, 70, 90, 5, 10, 30, 50, 70, 80, 81, 82, 83. So let's see. 1, 2, 3. Okay. My little lizard brain is not functioning. It's really late right now. So I'm just going to do it the long way. So there's 50, 1, 2, 3. Four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. And I think that should be it, right? So one, two, three, four, and five. And we will placeholder that. Five hundred. That feels pretty good. All right, academics, so 20, oh my, what is, must be a lot of small bills, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 85, 90, 95, 100. So, 20s, 10s, and 5s, and then 5, 10, 15, 20. Okay, um, allowance doesn't get condensed. Kids is swept. All right, so now we've got the investments. So I'm gonna pull up my iPad again. I'm just gonna reference it off screen here um, just so it doesn't mess up the colors again. So for 401k, let's see, we should have $188,346 and I'm just gonna round it down to $188,300. So 150, 60, 70. Um, okay, so what I have in here, 70, 75, 6, 7, 8, 9, 80, 81, 82, 83, 84, 84, 50, 6, um, eight, no, 84, 500. 600, 700. So 184,700. And we need to have 188,000. So I'm just going to do this 150, 60, 70. And then I want another 10,000 placeholder. 80, uh, 85, 86, 87, 88. And I just need 300, so 100, 200, 300. And I'm going to put the rest of this back in my pile. So let me count that one more time. So 150, 160, 170, 180, 85, 86, 87, 88, 188,100, 200, and 300. So 188,300. So that is great, obviously. 529. Um, okay, so this one is currently 1, 2, 25. Uh, 2650, 28, 29, 3100, and 200. So 3200, and it should be 3400. So I need to add 200 more. Let's see, one, two, and then I will just uh, condense this out well. So 3000, and then I need 400, which we can do 150, 300, 400. There we go. So 
So one thing I'm thinking of doing for the birthdays is asking. So my 529 plan has a link that you can send to people. And I'm thinking of potentially sending it to the grandparents and maybe our our siblings, like mine and my husband's siblings, the aunts and uncles, because my kids get a lot of gifts from family. And uh, one, we just are accumulating a lot of things, um, which we do donate or sell periodically. But I'm wondering if maybe they would be open to, instead of buying actual gifts, to contributing to their college funds. I know some people are very sensitive about asking for money or getting asked for money, but I'm hoping maybe because it's specifically for a college fund, it will be, people might be more open to it and not as, um, you know, I, I really think some people get offended when people ask for money and I understand why, but I'm thinking if anybody does that where they ask, you know, for people to contribute to something like a fund, um, shoot me a comment and let me know how you do it, how you word it, because it's just really tricky and feels really awkward, but Again, I feel like just it would be much better spent if somebody wanted to spend like $20 and contribute to their college fund than just buying like another, you know, action figure or something. Um, HSA is currently 10,300, 600, 900, 11,200, 300, 400. 11,400. Okay. Um, and it should be 12,400. So I think, what can we do? We can leave 400 here, take out these, and then just add another 1,000. I'm sorry for some people that it probably drives you crazy that I've got this combination of like printed and cursive. Um, I'm just going for denominations right now and I honestly don't know which one I like better. If you like one better than the other, let me know. But um, I kind of like both. So that's how we're doing it. 10,000, 11,000. Is this right? 1,000. Oh, no, I need to add another 1,000. 10,000, 11,000, 12,000, 300, 400. So 12,400. And then finally, taxable investments. Um, let's see, I've got five, six, seven, eight, nine thousand five hundred, six fifty. So $9,650. And I should have $10,500. So we will do a, oh, I don't have enough. Um, hmm. I don't have another 10,000 with me. I guess I'll have to make one. So let me do another, do I have another five? I do not. All right, so we'll do some 1,000. So 5,000, six, seven, eight, nine. Ten thousand and then five hundred and I'll put the one fifty away. All right, so that is ten thousand five hundred. So that is it for the cash stuffing. Let me see how much we're taking to the bank. A lot of twenties. Okay. So not too bad. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six hundred, six fifty, seven, seven fifty, eight, eight fifty, nine, nine fifty, ugh, nine seventy, nine ninety, one thousand ten, one thousand thirty, fifty, sixty, one thousand five hundred, ninety. 12, 10, 30, 50, 70, 90, 13, 10, 30, 50, 70, 90, 14, 10, 30, 50, 70, 90, 15, 10, 30, 50, 70, 90, 16, 10, 30, 50, 
70, 90, 17, 10, 30, 50, 70, 90, 18, 10, 30, 50, 70, 90, 19, 10, 30, 50, 70, 90, 2010, 30, 50, 70, 90, 21, 10, 21, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 2200, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 2300, 10, 20, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 65, 70, 75, 80, 85, 90, 95, 2400, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60, 65, 70, 75, 80, 85, 90, 95, 96, 97, 98, 99, 2500. Oof, nice round number. So taking 2,500 to the bank, um, and I now have very thin binders, and I will be doing a cash stuffing in a few days um, for both weeks of July. So I'm trying to get caught up. It's already mid-July. I don't want to get behind even more, so I'm going to combine the first two weeks, and hopefully that'll get out in the next few days. So thank you, everyone, for watching, and I look forward to hearing from you in the next video. Bye.